hello students uh, this is the problem for the previous topic which saw just now that is composite homogeneous transformation what are the question they have asked is develop composite homogeneous transformation matrix to rotate an object with respect to a pivot point for the triangle a32 b62 c66 rotate it in anti clockwise direction by how many degrees 90 degrees keeping a32 fixed and draw the new polygon so what they have given here is triangle they have given and its coordinates they have told us to rotate in anti clockwise direction by how much 90 degrees so you all know that in when you all are performing rotation the default direction for rotation is anti clockwise and not clockwise direction if you all are performing clockwise direction then you all have to use the matrix of the inverse rotation and if you are using anti clockwise you will have to use the matrix of the normal rotation okay and they have told that this particular point a3 comma 2 should remain fixed and that is the pivot point so first let us put this uh, coordinates onto the graph a is 3 2 b is 6 2 c is 6 6 okay so this triangle you will get okay and they want this point to remain fixed that means if you are rotating also this a32 should not change rotation should happen at this point itself so we know that by the previous theory uh, the rotation cannot happen at the pivot point you have to get to its origin 0 0 perform the rotation here and then go back to the pivot point that means first step you will have to do is translation second is rotation and third step is inverse translation so what is the first equation t x r y r that means to uh, to come to the origin you have to travel so much amount of x and so much amount of y to reach 0 comma 0 okay and x r is 3 y r is 2 after you reach to the origin you have to perform rotation and by how much degrees they have told us to rotate 90 degrees so theta here will be 90 after you perform the rotation here you have to go back again to the pivot point and to go back to the pivot point you have to perform inverse translation that means so much amount of x and so much amount of y you have to go to reach to the pivot point so it will become t minus xr and minus yr and the final thing you all will be performing is rotation okay so let us see the matrix for translation we know the matrix for translation instead of tx ty we are using xr yr where xr yr is the pivot point for rotation this is the matrix for rotation cos theta minus sin theta 0 sin theta cos theta 0 and so on this is the matrix for inverse translation where tx and ty that is xr and yr should become minus minus that means you are performing the inverse of translation okay so let us put all these values okay so there what they have told us which two points have to be remain fixed 3 comma 2 has to remain fixed that means xr is 3 yr is 2 that means uh, 3 is the distance across x y is uh, 2 is the distance across y so xr is 3 yr is 2 theta is how much 90 90 90 you will have to put the theta and minus xr minus yr is nothing but minus 3 minus 2 so what you will have to do is first perform the multiplication of this two that means cos 90 is 0 minus sin 90 is minus 1 sin 90 is 0 cos 90 is 0 this i have replaced with this value these two matrices are the same so after uh, first you perform the multiplication of this two after performing the multiplication of this two you will get this answer okay after you get this resultant matrix this result you have to apply with this matrix so perform the multiplication of this two matrix you will get this resultant matrix the final resultant matrix which you get of this three has to be multiplied with the object matrix of the triangle object matrix of the triangle means you all have to take these coordinates also okay so these coordinates are in two dimensional you all have to convert it into three dimensional to perform multiplication with the matrix so how to perform is a you put the coordinates like this 3 2 
B coordinate you put it 6 2 and C's coordinate you put it as 6 6. The third coordinates which are there you all put it as 1 1 1. They are nothing but the homogeneous coordinates which are all 1. After you perform the multiplication of this 2 you will get this matrix. And this is the final matrix. You all have to make sure that the last row is all 1. Because this 3 dimensional matrix has to be converted into 2 dimensional. So the first 2 coordinates is A dash. That is 3 comma 2. Second 2 coordinate 3 5 is B dash. 3 comma 5. And the third coordinate C dash is minus 1 comma 5. Okay. So this is the new coordinates. Hope you all understood. First you will put all the three matrices. Multiply this two first. The resultant matrix you will multiply with the third matrix. When you will get the resultant of these three matrix as this. Multiply this matrix with the object matrix of the triangle. That means A coordinate, B coordinate, C coordinate. Last coordinates you will put it as 1 1. So while converting 3 dimensional into 2 dimensional you all only consider the first 2 values not the last one. But make sure that the last 3 are always 1. If you all are getting it as always 1 means then it is the correct answer. Okay. So let us see here what are the old coordinates what are the new coordinates. Old coordinates is 3 2 6 2 6 6. New coordinates of the triangle is A dash 3 2 3 5 minus 1 5. So after converting you all can see that 3 2 has remained fixed. Okay. So they had told us that the pivot point has to remain fixed. So 3 2 remains fixed B dash and C dash has changed. So plot the graph of the new polygon A dash is what here 3 2 B dash is what 3 5 and C dash is minus 1 5. Okay, so after rotation by 90 degrees, it looks like this. So before rotation, it was like this. And at this particular point, you have rotated by 90 degrees. So 90 degrees, it has rotated in the anti-clockwise. And this is the result resultant polygon. So you all at the last, you all have to put the resultant polygon for this particular problem.